Hello and welcome to a two-part pork opening uh, video today. It is, as you can see, uh, probably from the intro video, it is the two triple packs of the Fates Collide uh, set that came out fairly recently. I want to say in the last week or two. I may be wrong and uh, we're joined with my trusty Greninja Amiibo that I don't think I've actually used in Smash Bros or anything. Just bought it because it's Greninja. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point is to as always, open up uh, one of these triple packs and take a look what's inside. I do apologise, I have realised that the sound of the road is really loud, I think, and it's picking up fairly reasonably on camera, so I do apologise for that in the background. I would say to um, film in a different place today because I get a lot better lighting and stuff. And that is the back of the packaging. Um, and if anyone wants to read that, pause it, I guess. But it's all about Alakazam, Mega Alakazam EX, seeing the future and shaping it. Which is interesting, it's actually like giving giving canon to a particular Pokemon in the card set. Which is interesting, I don't think they've done that before. Or if they have, I've... I don't know, I didn't notice it. Also, a little uh, something a little different, on the left of the screen here, will be the um, opening point system. It's a new thing that I want to do with my videos. It's not going to get in the way particularly, but um, I'm going to rate, basically, the last two cards of each pack. And at the end, I'll give sort of the triple pack or the tin or whatever is I'm opening a general sort of rating. I'm not going to go through them. Um, the I'll probably have put on the screen what each rarity of card is worth points-wise. Obviously at the end of the video, because I realised it's a lot better way than like re-showing you the rares or EXs or whatever that I pulled from previous packs in the same video. It gets a little tiring. And it's something I kind of want to do anyway, just because, um, you know, it, it gives me some interesting stats and stuff to look back on. Um, you know, if I'm ever wondering, like, oh, what was... What was my average pull rate of those three videos or ever? But anyway, I've uh, I've opened this one. I'm going to do this one in another video, so that's going to be part two. If I'm savvy enough, I'll have highlighted something over there so you can click on part two. Anyway, here is the promo Vivion card that uh, that comes with this um, this triple pack. Also, I'm very pleased in that this and Froki are both promo cards. Usually ha what happens when a triple pack is released is there are two different varieties. One of them is a promo, like this one here, and one of them is an alternate hollow um, design to the one in the set. So you'll get like, the hollow look a little different or whatever. But no, these are both promos, and that is a really nice Vivian card. I love Vivian. Um, definitely one of my favourites from Gen 6. There's also the coin, I'm not going to bother pulling it out, but I think it's Gen Sect. Silvery Gen Sec there. Um, I have a load of coins. I may make a video, actually, of the coin collection I have. And I have three um, packs. There's the uh, Lugia, there's the Mega Alkazam, and Zygarde. And one part of this set, apparently, is that Zygarde has a few different forms, and they're all in card form, which is cool. So anyway, let's get on with it. And... Um, yeah, near the end of this pack, you will see popping up on the left uh, the like number I give to the reverse hollow and then the rare slash hollow slash EX or super rare or even secret rare, which I don't think I've ever pulled from. Oh, actually, no. Well, I pulled one from the uh, Mega Charizard EX box, but that doesn't really... That kind of comes as its own thing. Anyway, that was a little tough to open, but I've not opened any Fates Collide, apart from one pack I bought a few days ago, so actually I have opened Fates Collide, and that was just a blatant lie I just told you. Okay then, well, we uh, we start off with Chaos Tower, and that's a... That kind of looks like a Super Smash Bros uh, stage, a little bit. Well, that's interesting, so it's like a full art kind of trainer? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a closer look at this later, and if there's anything in particular, I'll um I'll add a note at the bottom of the screen there, um and we also have an Alteria Spirit Link. I do apologise for it um disappearing off the screen for a second, but I've got to read it as well, and I I haven't worked out the best angle for my camera yet. 
Ooh, the next one is Team Rocket's handiwork. I rather like Team Rocket, and I'm glad to see that they're like they're back. I guess in this set. Oh, actually, yeah. Well, Alakazam like combines two universes or two realities or something. So I guess this is like a combination of old and new, which obviously makes loads of sense because it's the twentieth anniversary this year. So you know, it's nice to see some like. Um, some old things and some new things together. Burmy, uh, and I believe if you look in the background there, there's the different courts of Burmy. There's like Trash Court, Leaf Court, and wherever the other courts are called. I can't remember. That's the attack. I'm going to read it. Uh, next up, we have a seal, which is really cute. It, it's 3D, which I'm not super keen on, but, you know, it's, it's a nice card. Uh, next up, we have a uh, Fennekin. I was going to say a Delphox then, but that's not the one I was thinking of either. Middle one. What does is, what is Fennekin evolve into? I can't remember. I was about to say did evolve into, so I'm clearly not on the right page here. Next, we have a Goth Eater. Oh, that's a pretty vibrant art there. That's, that's really cool. I'm liking that count. That is its attack. Uh, oh, no, we're not on to reverse yet. We have a binacle. I really like binacle. I um, I don't think too many people were huge on him, but I really like him. I don't know. I, uh, I, quite, I liked quite a lot of Pokemon from Gen 6. Ooh, okay, we have a reverse Servine. That's cool. That's, uh... Oh, yay, we got grass symbols and the reverse again. I... Th I think that may have been in the last set, but I can't quite remember. I I know it's a, it appeared in um, Legendary Treasures, which is years and years ago. Uh, and uh, next... Oh my god! Well then. It's an Umbreon X. Well! Oh! I just realised it's a full art. I just... Well. Okay then. Two seconds. BRB. Okay. I'm back. So it's a super rare. It's it is one nineteen out of one one two four, I believe. So it's not a secret rare, but <laughs> wow, that's incredible. That was the, like the first pack. I was I was not expecting. Honestly, wasn't expecting any X out of any of these six packs. I was wow, wow. Okay, well that's justified the triple pack on its own. That's incredible. I really like Umbreon. Definitely one of my favourite evolutions after Jolteon, who's the best. Wow! Oh, just the art and the colour and stuff. Well, as you can probably tell by the point system to the left there, this probably um, probably already puts the triple pack at worth it, or whatever my rankings are going to be. Actually, yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to provide another piece of information about what my rankings will be, because... You know, I'm probably not going to go with the IGN system of, you know, eight is reasonable, seven is complete and utter garbage. Which, uh, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do a point. Uh, well, I'm not going to do a numerical system for the outcome, just as a calculation kind of based thing. Uh, right, if that made any sense. I think it made sense, but I'm the one making it, so that's kind of a bit of a bias there. Okay, anyway, sorry, I was just... Oh, uh, maybe you saw that code. Maybe you scanned it, if you were crafty enough. Um, I've probably used it by now, though, so I do apologise to anyone getting their hopes up that they just got a free booster. Well, will we be able to top the last pack? No. Unless it's a secret rare, which is not going to be. Okay, then. Well, first up is Goth Eater again. Also, um, if if any of you are, like, wondering and stuff, these are the uncommons before the commons, because I don't like shuffling the last two behind things, because I often, some like, feel the rare card, and if it's an EX or something, I can tell by touch, so... We have... Ooh, wow! <laughs> That's a really cool spoink there. That's a very cool spoink. So that that bead is already like dark and stuff. Is he is he alright? Is that like evil spoink? Oh man, are they bring back the dark Pokemon from the Team Rocket set. That would be amazing. We have a Ordino Spirit Link. That's Reverse Hollow. What have I done to this pack? Well, we're gonna go ahead and carry on. Kabutops, I think, is our rare. 
I think that's our rare. If it's not, I'll put her in the thing. But that's really cool. I haven't pulled a Cabo Top card since Fossil Set, I think. That's really cool. That's a nice Cabo Tops there. Our next card is a Dugong. That's really cool. Oh, I thought that was hollow for a second, but no, that's just the shining of the light. Yay, I have Sea Land Dugong now. That's really cool. Next up, we have a Lodred. Oh, hell yeah. Love the Lodred line. Explode is legitimately one of my top, like, ten, five, whatever, Pokemon. I'm not sure. I don't think I really have a definitive top ten uh, list. Oh, Lodred's so cool. There's, like, a Pokeball there. Oh, is he in, like, a fun fair? Is this a Pokken kind of thing? Maybe it's a Pokken thing. We have a uh, Alakazam Spirit Link. Sorry again, I'm looking at the top of the card. I can usually tell by the artwork what Pokemon it is, but not with trainer cards and stuff. We have a Lovatar. Hey. Um, in the pack I did open that wasn't on camera, I got a Hollow Tyranitar, which I was very, very pleased with, because usually when I buy single packs, I usually get commons and stuff. We have a Meowth. A, ooh, oh, that's a bit of a savage-looking Meowth there. That's, he's not happy about something. Well, and do we pull? Do we pull Fennekin in this pack? I think we did. Okay, hey, that's Fennekin again. Yeah, there we are. Okay, Gothita is what we pull. So yeah, I think Abutops is the rare. I think I may have just shown you guys a weird shuffling of that pack then. Okay, well that that's cool. So Kabutops was the rare. Let's put him at the back there behind the reverse Audino Spirit Link. Uh or Mega Audino Spirit No, it is just Audino Spirit Link, isn't it? Because I don't know why I'm showing you on camera that I'm putting it back in the pack. I'm gonna leave them here for now because that pack doesn't want stuff put in it. And the last pack is Zygarde, uh, like 100% form, I think it's called. I am not too sure on the Zygarde forms because I kind of saw the things and then I saw the scans briefly and then kind of closed them because I didn't want to be spoiled too much because I thought Z was coming out, you know, Pokemon Z. Yeah. I thought Pokemon Z was coming out, but it wasn't. Uh, Sun and Moon instead, which I'm, you know, pleasantly, like, I'm really happy with. I ain't got nothing against Sun and Moon. It looks really, really fun, and I look forward to hearing more. Um, the latest stuff was the stuff about the legendaries, which is cool, I guess. Um, Sun Lion, all the way for me. Okay, wow. Okay, so we start with the Pupitar. That's cool. I have the Lavatar uh, evolution line now. Which, thinking about it, I can't remember what um, what element Lavatar was, but they may be all different elements, unless Lavatar's also dark. But yeah, Pupitar is fighting, I guess, or ground. Yeah, that makes sense. We have a Shauna. Wow, okay, she's remained in the set for quite a while now. That's the same art, I'm pretty sure, as previous sets. Okay, that's all. Oh, we have, like, the special um, strong energy. That's got that ability. I can't quite remember what Strong Energy does. We have a Jigglypuff. Quite quite nice art there. Quite detailed backgrounds and stuff as well, which I'm really digging. And uh, those are the moves. We have a Goth Eater again. Wow, I think we've pulled a Goth Eater in each pack now. I don't think there's really need to go over that card again. There's also Meowth, which we pulled in the last pack. Uh, we have oh yay we have a Snivy that's cool that's cool all I need now is a superior and I've got that line as well I think the next is reverse no it's not okay oh it's Solosis yay although oh my god that like computer render it looks ugh. I don't know computer rendered CG and stuff they never have really good CG they just have kind of passable stuff which is uh, it's fine oh okay so we have a reverse riolu that's cool for a second i thought it was one of the sword trio from gen 5 i don't know why yeah that's really cool that's a nice looking riolu there and we have to end a grumpig well okay then we have a grumpig that's that's nice that is 
head walking. All right then, if you want to read what that does, I'll probably read that later. Um, right, well, wow, that was a bit of an underwhelming end. That kind of started really well and then kind of, I don't know, just went a bit downhill. Um, also, yeah, I just realised that other code card was on show too. If you manage to get all the code thing, well done to you, I guess. Use it if you want. I probably, maybe I'll try using it later, but if you've already got it, whatever. Congrats to you. But yeah, that was, that was a very, very good, that was a very, very good triple pack, I think, honestly, all in all. I will maybe put up brief pictures of all three of them if you really want to see them again uh, in their full glory, which I'll take photos of. Um, but yeah, oh, also on, on the topic of photos, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, I think I've put it in the description. I mainly take photos of kind of things like this, Pokemon cards, figures, whatever. If you're interested in my channel, you may be interested in my Instagram. I don't know. But thank you very much for watching. Part 2 is coming up next for this thing. Uh, I may film this later on or another day. I'm not quite sure, so don't expect this to be uploaded same time as this. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll close out with the adorable Vivian again. Goodbye.